you i want to welcome you members of the press uh, for coming to the zanu pf headquarters for for a brief but before i go into what i have in store for you i just wanted to say that uh, we want to pay our sincere condolences to one of yours who, who succumbed to a kidney failure at Gweru Hospital. And we understand uh, that um, he, she worked for ZBC. And uh, we just wanted to say we would wish uh, to pay our condolences uh, to the bereaved family and that may her soul rests in eternal peace. Um, you recall that we had um, indicated that we're going to have reruns for five constituencies, and that the four were going to be conducted uh, last Saturday, that is in Harare, in uh, Mashona Land West uh, and in the Midlands. And that there was also going to be another rerun this coming weekend uh, in Matebelen South, and that is for Incisa South constituency. Just to advise that we are no longer going to have a rerun in Incisa South constituents of Matebele and South because one of the candidates has withdrawn from the race uh, on his own volition and therefore out of the two uh, the other candidate now will be declared the winner. Therefore the winner for in Caesar South is Comrade Spear Sitole and uh, this therefore as I said earlier on, there is now no need for, for a rerun. So we had uh, reruns in the, in the four constituencies. And uh, before I give you the results, I, I thought it is also on my opportunity to thank all those who were very much involved in the work to make this exercise a success. We had no reports of violence. We had no reports of intimidation. People voted freely. People came in in time in all the polling stations. Voting started quite early. In, uh, in some areas, they started at 7 and stipulated. Others started at 8, half past 8. But in all these constituencies, by three o'clock, a stipulated voting had ended and counting started. And um, as a result of that, we had the results uh, before, eight, before 8 p.m. on that very Saturday. So the, the whole process was held very efficiently and effectively. I would like to thank the Politburo members who manned the constituency command centers. We had uh, two Politburo members at each constituent command center. I also want to thank the Central Committee members who also manned each and every polling station. And also just to thank the presiding officers, the polling officers, the agents for the, for the candidates, for the way and the manner in which this process uh, was conducted. I also want to thank the candidates themselves because they also went to, to talk to their supporters that um, we, would, we would really take drastic action if there were any reports of violence. And I think they all uh, uh, adhered to the stipulations that had been made. So once again, again, to thank the supporters themselves our members who came in to exercise their right to vote and, and the exercise, uh, uh, the results uh, uh, really revealed that there was quite a lot of activity. People came in their numbers, 
quite early to exercise their rights and they were also very pleased with the results. In some of the constituencies, we understand that after the results were announced, the candidates uh, gladly went to shake each other's hands, which I think was, was an indication that they were happy with the system, happy with mm. the process, and also happy with the result, which, which, re, which reveals the wishes of the people. And that's exactly what elections are all about, that the, will, the wishes of the people must, be, must, be, must come out of, of, of these elections. And I'm happy that um, these elections or these rerun elections we conducted in a peaceful environment, and I hope uh, our members will continue uh, to maintain that level of, of maturity, because democracy is not something easy to come by. It's, it's a process. And I think as the more and more we see elections coming in, the more and more all of us learn from this process, and we want uh, each of these stages to improve from what we have had in the past. So we are happy when democracy is, is, is comes of age, where people now understand that you don't have to be forced to, to, to vote. You don't even to be bought, even if people give you money. You have, you, there's no, the, you, you know that when you go into the booth, what you do there is really your own secret. And, and, and I think some of our, our candidates have, have learned a lesson that um, you can't buy money. You can money can't buy votes, uh, but yes, people will probably accept money and and because you have given them. But there is no guarantee that they will vote for you. Mm. And and I think it's 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 at the end of the day what we need as as candidates uh, who want to be to be voted is really to be as close as possible with the people and with the electorate. People want delivery. People want to see you with them and 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 to be moving with them and I think that's that's what we would want as a party to see and, and continue to see. So we are happy that this exercise was a success. Now I will give you the results in terms mm. of um, the candidates who participated and, uh, and I will give you the name of the candidate who came out with the most votes. And I say let me also from the outset mention that these results, as, as before, are preliminary. Preliminary in the sense that they are still subject to the scrutiny of the Politburo. And uh, I've been made to understand that the Politburo will be sitting very soon and will then preside over. And uh, in, the, in their deliberations, we will then have the Politburo to endorse the results and only then can this become very official? But um, for so for for this purpose, uh, we must you must take these results as preliminary. Harare Province had two reruns, mm. two constituencies. That is Churu constituency and Mbari constituency, and these are the two provinces where we had some 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 violence uh, acts of violence in the past and it was felt that the electorate didn't get the chance to exercise uh, their their right to vote and therefore a uh, politburo decided and rightly so to give the chance to the electorate to choose uh, their own candidate so we had um, fundukwa ifraim Matsika Charles, Muchacha Tafirenika, Wungwe Letmo, Mazamba Nyasha, Poshai Bonfes, and Fundukwa Ephraim had the mm. highest number of votes in Churu constituency. Mbari, we had Martinyanya Martin, Mahachi Emmanuel, those were the two, and Martinyanya Martin had the highest number of votes for Mbari constituency.
Then um, I moved to Zimba, West Constituency. We also had two candidates, Ziambi, Ziambi, and Messi, Dina, not Bima, eh? Dina. And um, Messi, Dina, he had the highest number of votes. Therefore, for Zimba, West constituency. And last but not least is Midlands Province, Gokwe, Nembuzia. We had uh, Mpof Elam, Manzombe, God knows, Wajajena, J. Mayor and Flora Buka. And Flora Buka had the highest number of votes for Gokwe Nembuzia constituency. And those are the results for the four constituencies. I also want to take the opportunity to report on the successful candidates for the youth quota. If you recall, mm -hmm. in the last, in the previous briefings, we did mention that we were not in a position to give you the results of the youth quota because there were still some figures that we wanted to verify. And now we are happy that we have now established uh, those figures. And um, I will now give you mm. our candidates for the youth quota and province by province. Bulawayo province, we have Mututsa, Munashe. In Harare, we have Gapa, Lakmo. In Manikaland, we have Stanley, Sakupanya. Mashonaland Central, Emerson, not Mnangagwa, eh? Emerson Raradza and Mashona Land East Mudo Tawanda Mashona Land West Ziambi Mutsa Washe mm. Mashingo Naledi Maunganize Matebele Land North to welcome Juku Nuwe and Matebele in South Tinashe Mushipe and Midlands Kudakwashe Munangagwa. Those are the ten, our ten candidates for the youth quota. We also gave instructions to our provinces to look into the complaints mm. regarding our local authority elections. And uh, they should be submitting by tomorrow the results of the local authority elections, the complaints that have been raised, and how they have dealt with those complaints, and that in the event of any rerun on the local authority elections, again, 
those decisions have to be endorsed by the Politburo. But in terms of planning, we had earmarked any exercise in terms of rerun or fresh elections for mm. local authority we had planned for this coming weekend. But all depends on the submissions that will have been made by the various uh, provinces. That uh, completes uh, my brief to you for today. And uh, once again, to thank you for coming and uh, also to hope to, to see you very soon. I thank you.